It is really hard to believe that I've been doing this whole YouTube thing since September 2020. I'm in the midst of my third year doing this, and just like I did last year, what I want to do today is kind of do a state of the YouTube channel kind of thing, where I discuss a little bit about the year that we just got through, and then talk a little bit about my goals and stuff like that for the upcoming year. Now, obviously, this is not going to be of interest to very many people in terms of like new subscribers, but if you've been following me for a while, it's a, I think it's a good thing every year or so to kind of sit down and reflect over not only where we've been, but where we're going. So before we jump into all the stuff that I want to talk about, first I want to say just thank you so very much. Whether you are a longtime subscriber to the channel or you're brand new here, thank you so much for your subscription. I truly appreciate it. Like I don't, I say it at the end of every video, it's become kind of a, a rote thing where I say the same words over and over again, but I truly do appreciate everybody who subscribes to the channel like without you the channel just not be anywhere near where it is right now I don't know whether or not I would even continue to make so many videos I may be down to like a video a month or something like that so uh just if you've hit the subscription button if you hit the subscribe button I should say thank you so very much also just a brief thank you at the beginning of the video this time to all my patreons youtube members and so on you guys are all amazing thank you for all your support over the last two and a half years just thank you. So now that I've got the mushy stuff out of the way, let's talk a little bit about this past year. So at the beginning of 2022, which is this past year, which is hard to think about, that, that was 2022 and we're in 2023. At the beginning of that year, I had just passed 5,000 subscribers. The fact that I am now at 25,000 subscribers in January of the next year is just it's bonkers to me. Like, I cannot believe how fast this channel has grown over the course of the last year. It's been absolutely nuts. And like I said, thanks to everybody who subscribed, but also just it's mind blowing. And I don't know what to do with that information half of the time. The fact that there are so many people who have subscribed to this channel, meaning that they want to occasionally see some of my other content is just, it's, it's humbling, but also completely shocking to me most of the time. So uh, just the fact that it has grown so much is just, its like I said, it's mind-blowing. So the thing that kind of shocked me the most over the last year or so is how many videos that I've had that have gone, I'm not going to call them viral because I'm not Mr. Beast, but the ones that have just done really, really well. And there have been some surprises. So the one that has done the best, my best, my best video ever, is the video that I did on the display manager called, I'm going to butcher this name because I don't remember what it's called. It's like Ly, L-Y, I think it's called. I'm not, I can't actually remember if that's the name. It's, it's completely, it's escaped my brain because I remembered it like five seconds ago, but now I don't remember. But anyways, it was on a terminal display manager and that vi video is at like 160,000 views now. And that was published in May of last year. So that video brought in a lot of new people, like almost 2,000 new people just subscribed from that one video alone, which is just, it's absolutely nuts. And it continue, that video continues to do very well every single day. So, uh, and I've had a couple of videos that have done really well like that. Now, obviously not to that end, but I've had, you know, several that have gone into the 30 and 40,000 mark, which is always nice to see. It's also still one of those things where I don't really understand the YouTube algorithm. I don't think anybody but Mr. Beast actually does. Uh, I don't know what made that display manager video pop like that. If I did, I'd make many, many more. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I won't be, I, I won't lie to you and say that I wouldn't just make those videos over and over again if I knew that the, those were so popular, but I have no clue why that particular one popped off. Either got shared somewhere or something like that. I don't know. But the, the point is, is that I've made many videos over the course of the last year that I'm pretty proud of and were fairly popular. So I'm happy about that. I've also made some stinkers, but I don't, you can't make as many videos as I do and not make, you know, the, the, okay, I, I'm going to say the occasional stinky video, but I make a lot of really bad videos and I know that I'm not the most popular Linux YouTuber out there. Uh, I've seen the comments of some people on discord and other discord servers other than my own, thankfully. Uh, saying that I'm too whiny, that I'm too negative, that I tend to 
They wonder why I even use Linux because I, because I complain about Linux all the time. Uh, they talk about why I have some severe problems with actually being smart enough to do half of the things that I talk about, which is true. I've never claimed to be a smart person. I've never claimed to be uh, a Linux in, you know expert or anything like that. In fact, in my YouTube description, I call myself an eternal Linux noob. I am a noob. And I will continue to be so. So, like, I see the negative comments, but I also see a lot of positive comments and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I make the occasion, I, I make, you know, bad videos all the time, and I probably will continue to do so. But there are some things over the course of the last year that I've kind of learned from and that I'm still trying to improve. So, one of them is that, and I've not really heard a lot of comments about this, but I can feel it in my brain that I oftentimes repeat myself in terms of videos. Now, I don't think that I've done like two videos that are exactly the same, or at least I haven't published them because I there was one video fairly recently where I went through and did the video, got it all edited, and then realized that I'd already done that exact same topic. Uh, and I think that probably if you make do as many videos as I do, that's just going to happen. But thankfully, I haven't done that often. But I do know that I repeat myself a lot. And that there are certain beliefs that I've put out there in videos that I do tend to repeat a lot on this channel. And it can get very repetitive. So I know, and, and I've thought about this a lot over the you know, the last couple months, that I've, you know, I need to start to freshen up the topics on the channel. If I'm going to continue to do this, I need to start making content that isn't always the same content over and over again. So uh, not only will it make it so that it's not repetitive for you, but also it's not going to be repetitive for me because I'll be honest with you, I don't really want to make the same content over and over again. So it's kind of a win-win situation. I can try some new things and try some doing things different ways, you know, try to do things different ways, and it will make it fresher for me as well. So that's one of my goals for the upcoming year is to kind of do some fresh, different things. Now, when I talk about fresh, different things, I'm not going to completely overhaul the channel or anything like that. I'm still going to be me. I'm not going to start scripting or anything like that. I've proven to myself that I can't script worth a damn, uh, but I am going to start to outline a little bit more. So for example, the video that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks that has been taking so much of my time is a video on silver blue. And I have that outlined. And I'm hoping that by, instead of winging it like I usually do, like I'm doing now, I'm hoping that by providing myself a little bit of an outline, not only can I provide a video that's more structured, so I can, you know, do timestamps and stuff like that, but also that I repeat myself less because I do repeat myself inside of videos often a lot too, which I probably will in this video as well. I probably already have a couple times. So that's just kind of the the way I talk. I ramble a lot. Like one of the, the categories or the playlists that I have on my channel is rambles. And basically that could be every video that I make. I ramble quite a bit. So that's one of my goals for this year is to try to create some fresher content. So for example, I've been starting to do this thing in this book. This is a... Okay, it's supposed to be a bullet journal. I'm not, uh, my handwriting is horrible, so I can never do the whole bullet journal thing, but I'm trying anyways, but it's not really for any like personal goals or anything like that. It's instead for the channel. And, you know, I've created like a calendar and stuff like that. But one of the things that I've tried to do, uh, over the last, you know, few weeks or whatever is to create a video schedule where I can actually write down my ideas for the entire month and kind of see everything that I want to do. That way I don't repeat anything, but also so that I can kind of know when I want, you know, when I'm supposed to do something. Now, uh, like I said, I've been doing this. I did it in December. I did it in January and I did a really good job in December in terms of doing all the videos that I planned to do, except for like a couple. I think I missed like three and I pushed those to January. So far, I have not done a very good job of doing them on the days that I've scheduled. So you probably can't see this all that well, but... I have like all the days listed out and I should do the video that, you know, like today was if what's the date today, today's the ninth. So today should be RSS for the win, right? That's the video that I should be doing. Uh, but I've skipped a whole bunch and kind of skipped around. That's the problem that I'm finding so far is that instead of following the schedule, I'm skipping around. So it doesn't really matter to anybody. Uh, but it's something that I'm going to work on is to actually do the videos that I've scheduled myself to do. 
but by writing them down in, at least in order or you know in, like in a month or whatever so that i can see the things that i want to do during that month i'm hoping that i don't create so many repetitive topics but also that i can kind of keep myself on track a little bit in terms of making the videos that i want to make instead of coming up with a random topic like i did today and you know just winging it for a ramble now it doesn't mean those videos are going to go away because obviously i'm still going to have like when i do stuff on linux i oftentimes encounter things that piss me off so i do rant videos every, every once in a while those videos have slowed down a little bit because i used to do rant videos like every day uh so i don't do that any, uh, as often but those aren't going to go away you know if if i have something to rant about i'm gonna just i'm gonna rant about it uh usually it's probably going to be pipewire or wayland like today i could have actually ranted about wayland uh, but I've done that before, and I have nothing to new, to new to add to it. Like, I spent all day yesterday messing around with Wayland, uh, specifically Hyperland. And uh, while Hyperland is pretty good, Wayland still has its issues. But I don't really need to cover that because I've already done it before. And like I said, I'm trying not to be so repetitive. So, that's one goal that I have for this upcoming year, is to make fresher content. The, another one is to do some more in-depth things, some more tutorials things like that. Uh, I'm starting to take a Python course, so maybe I should, I'm going to do some scripting later on in the year. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, I've started to go over my Bash knowledge so that I know a little bit more about Bash. So maybe I'll do some more Bash scripting, stuff like that. I'm going to be doing some more window manager content. So I have Barry WM scheduled on the, uh, on the schedule for this month. If I can get OBS to work, I'm going to do a video on Hyperland sometime, hopefully this week. Uh, I can't get OBS to work. That's the problem that I was having with Wayland. Um, I still don't know what's going on with that, uh, but I'll figure that out. So I'm going to be doing more window manager content. I'm 100% positive that I'll still do rising content from time to time. I really enjoy those time-lapse videos. I know that they're not very popular with y'all, uh, <laughs> with y'all, but... Um, I like doing them, especially on days like today. Like today, I thought about doing one because it was just a horrible day at work. It's been a very long day, and uh, I didn't feel like finishing the Silver Blue video, so uh, I was going to do a racing video. But instead, I decided to do this, which was on the schedule anyways for tomorrow. I just decided to do it a day early. Yeah, so as you can tell uh, from that brief cut there, I got interrupted and ended up, you know, losing my train of thought. So I have no clue what I was talking about there at the end, but the... Oh, oh um... Goal. So like you said, more window managers, stuff like that, tutorials, scripting, and stuff like that is, is stuff that I'm, I wonder how many more times I can say stuff in that sentence. Good Lord, Matt. But anyways, the, the point is, is that I'm going to be trying some more in-depth content instead of the frilly, fluffy, no substance stuff that often filled my channel in the past, right? I, I can admit that some of the topics that I've covered are just kind of filler content, right? Uh, you know, I felt like I had to make a video, so I made a video. And while I wouldn't say that those videos are bad, like uh, there, there is a place for that kind of stuff. There are some weeks there where, you know, some of that was, it was all I did, right? So I'm going to do some more in-depth stuff. You'll see a lot more distro stuff on my channel, but I'm struggling with how to do that. So like, I'm going to do this. I have the silver blue one that I'm working on. And I'm doing, I'm in the middle of my long-term review for Void, and my next one's going to be Nix OS, and I'm going to take a first look at Vanilla OS, and I have, uh, what else do I have scheduled in terms of operating systems for this month? I have a Fedora vs. OpenSUSE video that I've been working on for a while. I have the outline for that ready to go, but I need to do the rest of the stuff that goes with it, so that's probably going to be towards the end of the month, despite the fact that it's scheduled for the 2nd of January. Uh, that was good. Um, I have some other ones on here for distros, but the, the point is, is that the distro videos that I want to do take a little bit of time, right? And I want to say distro reviews, uh, the, the distro stuff that I want to do takes a little bit of time because it's not going to be all reviews. And that's kind of the, where I'll, I, I've talked about distro reviews and my disinterest in just doing a quick shot distro review, despite the fact that they're always very popular. And I'm not going, I'm not, I'm done with those. I don't need to get into that whole argument again that kind of spread throughout out YouTube, which was highly entertaining. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was very entertaining to watch every Linux YouTuber talk about that topic. Some of them did fantastic videos in response to to that. I highly recommend you go search those out. Um, but 
it, it was entertaining to me that I started that. That was that was that was great. Um, but I, I I'm done with distro reviews that are like that, right? And I talked about that in that video. I don't want to do those anymore. So the distro stuff that you'll see on my channel from now on are going to be different things. So I'm going to be doing the one on Silver Blue is what is Silver Blue? I'm going to go in depth on what Silver Blue actually is. It's not a review. It's more of a, a, a definition of silver blue and going over some of the reasons why you'd want to use it, why it's good, why it's bad, things like that. I'm also going to be doing some history. So like, a, I don't know if you guys know this, but I work for History Magazine and I, I'm an editor there now. Used to do a writing for it. And uh, by trade, I suppose, I'm, an, I'm a historian, right? I'm really just a writer, but I majored in history at university and uh, what I thought I would do and something that I think would be fun is some history of kind of videos. So one of the ones that I'm going to be doing is History of Fedora this month. I think that that would be highly entertaining. Uh, I don't know whether or not those videos will do well. We'll see. Uh, but I think it's something that could be, you know, kind of fun. So uh, I also have some what I'm calling investigative reporting, uh, which is uh, probably not the correct term because I'm not, I'm not a reporter, but you know, I'm going to do some in-depth videos on some of the things that have happened over the course of my time using Linux. So one of the things I'm going to be looking at is elementary OS. What the hell happened to elementary OS, right? Uh, I, I want to look, take a look and see kind of why that project has kind of become tarnished or... Um, it's languishing, if I guess is the word you could could use, but you know, I just want to stuff like that, right? Um, that's something that I have planned for this uh, upcoming month or maybe next month, depending on how, how I get to it. So, yeah, the the point is is that the content on the channel is not going to change all that much. I'm still going to be the rambly, no nonsense kind of weirdo that you guys watch on this channel, but I'm gonna do some more in depth stuff on the channel, hopefully, as we go through this year. And I hope that that's something that you guys will enjoy. I know that it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge, which is why you'll probably see me take some more days off. My, now, my original plan for the year, uh, back when New Year's resolutions were all still kept, which was before January 1st, um, my original plan was to do a video every single day. And I have, you know, I have videos planned out for every single day of the year and I'm still going to do videos mostly every day but in the week since I've started this whole thing I've decided that I just don't want to do a video every single day in terms of actually releasing one instead I'm going to focus on getting ahead so that I can still take some days off on days that I need to just not do a video and it, instead of forcing a video out I think it'd be better for me to just like, like yesterday was my first day off of the year in terms of video making. And I just used, I could have made a video last night. I had time, but I had the ideas that I had were all fluff pieces and all of them felt like things that I've done before. And I just, I'm sure I will make videos that are repetitive in the future. You know, there are certain topics that deserve to be reiterated in different ways and, uh, applied to different scenarios and things like that, but I don't want to be all about that. So yeah, I'm just, I'm not going, uh, I'm at the point now where I just, I want to be more cautious when I make a video and make sure that the videos that I re you know release are, you know, good videos, you know, as good videos as I can make anyway. So I think that's where I'm going to stop for this year. Uh, in terms of they say to not to make external goals for your YouTube subscribers. So I, I've pretty much stopped doing that. But, you know, I'm just so grateful for where I am right now. If I'm at if at the end of 2023, I'm still at 25,000 subscribers, I will be just as happy as I am right now. Or I'm going to try to be anyways. So, you know, I try not to be the kind of guy who, who chases subscribers like you. I do the whole subscriber animation at the beginning of the videos, but I never say, hey, subscribe to the video, like, right at the beginning, right? Sometimes I'll mention at the end if I remember, but I I don't want to be the YouTuber who sa says, you know, please subscribe to my video. I, if you don't subscribe, I'm going to be so sad. I don't want to be that guy, you know what I mean? I, like, I appreciate everybody who subscribes to my video, but if you subscribe to my video, I want it to be because, or if you subscribe to my channel... 
I want it to be because you actually enjoyed the content, not because I'm a whiny little bitch. I should not judge my other YouTube content creators who chase subscribers because I can understand the want to get more subscribers. I mean, everybody, if you do this thing, you want people to watch your video and the more people who watch, the more you want, right? I'm at 25,000 right now and I, man, I really want to see 50. I want to see 100. Uh, and I can only imagine how much that feeling is amplified when it's not 25 or 50 that you're talking about. It's millions, right? I can understand that, but I don't... I don't have any interest in ever being a million subscriber channel. I don't know what I would do with that many subscribers. I'm sure it would be fantastic, but part of the whole thing is I want to enjoy the journey. I'll be happy going if if I ever get to 100,000 or 200,000 like DT or whatever. I want to enjoy the journey to get there. And there's no sense in me whining about the fact that uh, you know you didn't subscribe to my video because you don't like it or you didn't like me or whatever. Like if, if you like my video, subscribe. If you don't, don't subscribe. Um, I'm, I'm a YouTube content creator, but I'm also a YouTube content, you know, viewer. Um, I'm subscribed to every channel that I view. There's many Linux channels I don't subscribe to because I don't like the person, right? Or I don't like their content or I have no need for their content or whatever it is. You know, there's just, you know, it's possible. There's things out there that I don't, whatever. Every, everybody makes these decisions if you're on YouTube. You either subscribe or you don't. Man, you're rambling. Good Lord. It's time to end the video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that one's it for this one. Uh, thank you guys for a wonderful 2022. I really, truly appreciate everything that happened in 2022 in terms of the channel. It's just the growth continues to blow my mind, and I'm appreciative of it. Of it and uh, I don't need to say that anymore. You guys, I think you guys got the message. So uh, here's to a wonderful 2023. I hope everyone. I know it's a, like a week late, but uh, I hope everyone has a fantastic year uh, ahead, and uh, that you all win the lottery and marry beautiful people. If you're not already married, if you're already married, you probably shouldn't marry someone else. That's usually not you know legal. So. Um, you can tell it's been a really long day. I'm still rambling. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks to all my patrons. You guys are all amazing. Uh, I'll put the, the 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 roll here at the end so you guys can see your names. But anyways, I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow.